Okay. There's a strong possibility you may be asking yourself, Dylan, how did you do it? How are you using furnaces in 1.8? It's not even possible. Well, fear not. Okay, the main purpose of this video, I guess, besides just making a video on the newest Minecraft, yeah, is a. Uh, I found a thing in the forums that it's sticky now, I believe, but it basically fixes the single number one glitch, the game breaking glitch in this one. A bug in uh, this version, the furnace glitch, which will just crash your game every time you use a furnace. Uh, very simply, this guy just edited one of the dot class files, and that was that. It uh, it made this playable. It made the furnaces not crash. So it's it's very simple. There you go. Anyway, this is my uh, this is the house I worked on and I built in the middle of a lake. Oh, that's not a good place to be right there. I should probably plug that up. I was uh. <laughs> Having a little trouble building this right here. I'll take it on a little tour. Ah, so you come down here, this is a little secret room. I'm probably gonna put uh, some my rare stuff in, like diamonds if I find any. I'm just gonna assume this world is gonna work once uh one point eight is official. Eh. Eh. It's kind of a slow up and down. But, you know, ladders apparently don't work on glass. So, I didn't know that. So, <laughs> I'm not going to fix it either. I want to be able to see outside. Uh, I had to actually get a mod for that. The first mod for 1.8, I guess. Too many items updated. Mm, it has all the it has new things as well. The stone bricks, they don't got names still. I had the glass panes, the iron bars, the whatever these things are. They were in the Yogg's cast videos, and I don't know what they are either. Uh, I had a 64 stack of iron that I found from one cavern. I did find it actually a pretty slick ravine that I haven't actually been into yet, because uh, I was too busy doing other things. Oh my god, I forgot to <laughs> do what I came back inside for. Some cobbly stone. The last video I made, after I died by Creepa, I actually deleted that world. But I used the same... Oh my god. That just, that really just happened. I used the same seed. And somehow I found that same little place I died at with the mossy. And uh, I had a peaceful, so there's nothing there. It was a dungeon behind that cobblestone. So I got myself a bunch of mossy. And that was that. I guess I can take it to the ravine real quick. It's, uh... I got the coordinates written down. I don't t tell if I'm going the right way or not. Yeah, I am. This is the right way. I'm gonna show it to you. That's all, that's all I wanted to do. Then I'm gonna exit the video. I was just showing you the furnace thing. I'm gonna put a link to the... the patch. Okay, here it is. It's a pretty slick ravine, I gotta say. There's an abandoned mine shaft down there. Uh, I saw a little bit of the wood pieces. Uh, there's actually another cave real close to my my lake house that actually leads to the same mine shaft. So it's an alternate way in, I guess, if I wanted to. And what do we? Oh my god! <laughs> this game generally it generally has too many caves. There's so many of them. Uh, I can easily find my uh, house too. I made a little orchard. I planted some trees. That's, see, there's no trees around it, so I'm like, eh, I'm gonna do that. There it is. Uh, let me change the winter settings real quick. Just so I can show it to you. In all of its glory. It's pretty, it's pretty sweet. I found this lake and I'm like, my house has to be here. It's a desert to the side and there's just a. Flat, there's nothing here. So I put some trees down though. Looks like they all grew just right. Except this one over here. That one right there. It's probably not in a very good spot. And before I start dying by lag, I better 
put this back in my tiny. Uh, yeah, actually this has been here for a while. I said I haven't cut down any of these trees either because I haven't had any use for wood. I just wanted a good high place for this to plant it. Right there. It's going to grow and be beautiful. Oh yeah, that thing out in front there, that's a table. It's a fence post with a pressure plate in front of it. Nothing too special. And the reason there's no bridge connecting this is because when I do switch off peaceful, I don't want mobs to be able to get in here. They won't be able to. They won't be able to. Unless they somehow spawn on the outside, which I'm actually going to have an idea. Unless they spawn on the outside, on these little wood planks, they're not going to be able to get here because they're just going to fall into the water and die. And yeah, that's about it for this video, I suppose. Not to talk about 1.8. It's, uh... Basically, it's fin it's pretty much out for me. The only thing that was keeping me back was the furnace glitch, and it's since I fixed it, or I didn't fix it, some guy fixed it. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. I mean, I have so much iron. I think they might have increased the spawn rate for that, because I found so much of that crap. Oh yeah, a little quick note. If you want this seed, if you want, you can find the coordinates the same. Uh, it's uh, gonna be zero tolerance. That's the seed for this map. If you want to build a lake house. Or find that one little cave. I don't have the coordinates for that, but I spawn near it both times, so I'm spooning you'll be able to find it. And uh, I'll see you cats later, because it's all good in the hood.